Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. I am sweaty, I worked my ass off today. Um, today I built a new stand for my um, Heavy on 30, and it looks like I got a spot right here. I kind of got a little bit of um, acne. <laughs> oh, first, check out all these mangoes. Tons and tons of mangoes. That is so cool. I mean, the tree keeps on loading up every single day, so we keep on getting more mangoes and everything, which is really good. So. We picked them and it looks it looks really good. Hey David, how you doing? So this is this is the old stand from the Havion 30. As I was showing people that um you see it's particle board right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's that's all hey David. <laughs> this is all particle board and this is what came this is the stand that it came with. It was just three pieces. This this one, that one, and this one. So I put wheels on it and it went over a crack and that's what happened to it. Sorry, sorry it keeps on fading in and out. So I couldn't use a stand anymore. So I decided instead, let me make my own stand. So I got this, got the stand right here. Let me make my own stand. So let me show you here. This is solid, basically solid oak right here. And I built my own stand. And it took some time to do it. I copied, I copied the, the um, I copied the uh, templates from the old stand and made my own new stand. And what I did is I added some features. I added a little shelf so you can actually add speakers to it. And if I wanted a battery pack, I could just put it right here, which is pretty good. So this was worth it. I mean, I'm tired. I just, I'm, I'm full of sawdust. I need to go take a shower. Um, but yes, I did the shake tests. I took this right out in the street and ran ran it over some cracks and everything like that so i did some tests on it i made sure all the measurements were better this stand looks uh oh you're welcome dale how you doing how you doing dale and melissa how you how you guys doing you're welcome for your happy birthday song <laughs> yeah happy birthday my friend so um and if people don't realize i'm doing a live stream right now um yeah this is the core caveat 30 and the old stand was made out of nothing but pressed cardboard particle board. Not even particle board, just pressed cardboard. So this one right here, this is a laminated, a laminated um, real wood, real solid, solid oak, which is better. So I'm, I'm trying to debate if I want to stain it black or if I want to stain it like a very, very, um, like a darker mahogany, just to make this look even more gorgeous and then and then sand it out and try to shine it up a little bit so that's that's going to be my uh, next project because I want something <laughs> thank you so much Melissa thank you <laughs> yeah when this went when the wheel broke on this thing I was like what the hell am I going to do <laughs> you know that was on the old stand so I'm going to show you the old stand again here it is this is this is on its way to the dump I'm, I'm just I'm that's on its way to the garbage and I'm, I've written a cord to tell them that these stands are garbage. These stands are not made for for even transporting. And it's only a three piece. But I took the components out of that and I made it. And you can see I added wheels. I added um, rubber wheels to it, you see? So it can roll around. Now, the back wheels, uh, they have the locks on them. And the front wheels are just regular, regular uh, rolling wheels and everything so they're they're rubber casters and so now I got two pianos I got this one no three my Williams which is covered up this one right here was the Korg heavy on 30 and my Casio my rhinestone Casio which is right over here Move this out the way. and the, the the Casio I had since it had a narrow base I had to make a dolly for it that's my rhinestone Casio. Nothing but rhinestones all over it. And that's a, that's the base right there that I made and it has wheels on it, which is really good. So I got I got three pianos plus my acoustic piano, which I take out. So I got two acoustic pianos that I take out. This one and that one right there. The grand piano stays home. So that just that just stays home. And I got three digital, um, three full-size digital pianos that I can uh, oh here's my walker. So if I wanted to put that on a walker. Which I can. I could. I could just take take the keyboard off. Take the keyboard off that. And if I want to march in a parade, I could put this on a walker. And I have like six other keyboards that are fitted to this, so that's no problem. Okay. You will have. 
to demonstrate again some sometimes how you can play and push the piano around oh that's easy <laughs> you see i have a strap i don't know if it's here no it's on the other side i'm sorry it's on the other side see i have a strap right here which i strap around my whole um body and then i can walk i can march with the keyboard and this this right here i push against this so my body's pushing against this and the strap is around my whole body and a lot of people's like well Where's your electricity? I'll show you. I'll show you right here. It's hard to get it out. That's my electricity right there. And I could put two batteries if I wanted to. So I got I got electricity right there and that, that leaves me like six to seven hours straight and then I can switch to the other battery, which is good. So yeah, this one I added the speakers and uh, this this is good for anything. So. What shall I do? Shall I make shall I make the stand black? I'm not going to leave it as it is. It looks cool the way how it is, but um, if I want a more professional look, I want to either make it black or I want to make it like a dark, a very good dark stained mahogany. Chris, you and Melissa have to be <laughs> com commended. You two made my day. Oh, thank thank you. <laughs> I hope I meet all y'all. I hope I meet all y'all. Hey, Suzette, how you doing? So. These speakers right here, I, I had these speakers laying around, and dark mahogany, Melissa, that's what I was thinking, dark mahogany. I'm going to put this on YouTube, and everybody's going to probably say dark mahogany. And people who don't know what dark mahogany is, it's, um, it's a little bit more redwood like this. It's like that kind of style, but a little bit more darker. A little bit more darker. It's, it, it, it stains a lot better. And um, it looks really good. It looks really, really, really good. Now this right over here, this is um, this is more of a walnut. This is more of a, a walnut oak. And this one right here, this is a this is like a redwood mahogany. So a darker mahogany on this will probably give it just a little bit more class. And I have the stain. Uh, I just can't do it today, guys. I was I, I thought I had more energy, and. Uh, and I cannot, I couldn't do it today. I have to sand down, I have to sand down these edges or see if I could get a border. So what I, if I could get a border for it, make it look even more professional, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna attach, I'm going to attach the speakers to the, uh, the piano itself. For, first I'm gonna test them out before I attach them. And then I'm gonna attach them on there. I can, I can make them optional or I can make them stationary. So if I do attach them on there, I'm gonna have another board that is leading up to just right here. So it looks, you know, it looks better. It looks better to, um, it, look, it looks a lot better, I should say, than, um, than what it looks right now. So bear with me on that. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, and you know, this is, this is just a cool project that I came across after my stand broke and this is this is something that anybody could do. Oh another thing that I did is I added toe blocks. So if you ever come up with a stand idea, these toe blocks, they're a lifesaver. And same thing on pianos. If you see a piano with toe blocks on it, and what I mean by toe blocks is you see right there? That's a toe block. This piano right over here doesn't have a toe block. And so if you put toe blocks on your equipment, um, your stands or whatever, with wheels, anything dealing with wheels, put a toe block on it because it resisted from tipping over. So that's exactly what I did as I, I put a toe block on it, which, which makes it look um, a lot better. All right, everybody, I need to shower up. And the piano plays well, so I'm, I could do this one-handed. I don't want to wake everybody up but um why is it called a toe block because it, it kind of looks like say for instance take your toe kind of looks like your toe look like a toe sticking out from right here so that's why it's actually called a toe block i'm gonna make it look a lot better um and um you know these are the wheels those are the wheels right here they're two different colors but it's all right i didn't care the back one's lock front one's though and 
that's where your pedal's at right here. So I'm going to try to see if I can do make make the pedal look a little bit better than what it looks right than you know right now. But um, yeah, that's that's exactly what it, it's just a simple stand. And here is the speakers. And that's one thing you could make the stand that that fits your specifications for the speaker and the piano. Now one thing, the reason I added the speakers is because if I were to plug up the piano, uh, the speakers on top shut off. So there's some gigs that I do need these speakers and some gigs I don't need these speakers. And so that's optional. But I'm gonna test it out first with, um, with the speakers and then if I didn't like it, if I just wanna make this a piano that I could just play out, which I did before, I'm gonna test it without the speakers. All right, everybody. Plus, I got some more wood right here. So let me show you the wood. This is this is actually a piano. See, this is a redwood mahogany. No, sorry, this is a dark mahogany right here. And that came off of another piano. That's the wood that I use right here. And I found out that this wood actually, golly, cost me thirty dollars. Just one piece of wood cost me thirty dollars at Lowe's. So this one's going back. This one's going back because I want my I want cup, part of my money back. You know. I bought two of them and I, I, I want one of my money back. So, or if not, I could just use that for the, uh, yeah, the base right there, which will make it look good. Okay. Thank you for watching my videos, everybody. Click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Aloha to everybody else, everybody. <laughs> and do me a favor, um, go, to my, go to my YouTube channel which is just type in Chris Nicholson or type in um, uh, KMN Keyboard Vault. That's all one word, KMN Keyboard Vault. And subscribe to my videos on there. Uh, if, you know, watch my videos, watch, watch the ads and everything like that. And soon I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make a Patreon account. The Patreon account, you could donate if you want. Um, you know, my people could donate to me and everything like that and I can, I can make more projects and show you guys more stuff and um, so I'm, I'm working on a Patreon account and um, trying to see if I can get paid off of this stuff <laughs> you know thank you so much um, oh and also you know what the Patreon account if I do that um, if you want me in your hometown to come and play as much money as I get the Patreon account will pay for that you know you guys pay you guys donate to the Patreon account and you guys pay for my trip to go see you guys. <laughs> All right, everybody. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much. See you, Dale. See you, Melissa. See you, everybody. See you, Suzette. Bye, everybody. I love you guys. Aloha. And I'll try to see if I can do a live stream later on tonight if I can. If I can't, forgive me. I'm tired. So I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to go take a shower and to go take a nap right now. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.